Hey guys, I'm going to start today's video with a question. Would you like a Mercedes at the price of an Alto? Well, it's a silly question because everyone would, wouldn't they? I don't know much about cars, but the same principle holds good for a house. I'm Monica Khosla Bhargav, founder and principal architect of Kham Consultants and architecture and interior design firm. We face this all the time. People want a fancy, well-designed house as everyone does, but they feel that it's going to be totally beyond their budget. So they go in for a basic utilitarian look and for their house or their interior, and they just give up on the design aspect. They associate it with luxury and being expensive, not realizing that design helps to maximize the space by organizing it, that it adds a lot of positivity to the living environment, and most of all, it helps to budget properly, which means you save money, especially in the long run. Today's video is about creating a very stylish home without burning a hole in your pocket. And if this is something that you've been waiting for, well then, press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Remember that style is about design and budget is determined by the materials that you use to create this style. So economize on your budget by a careful selection of materials and you can have your designer look. And I have five tips to help you create that. The first thing that catches your attention when you walk into a space is color. It's also very cost effective to work with color. So my tip number one is to create your color palette. For the color palette, list everything in the room. The floor, the walls, furniture, accessories like cushions, rugs, wall art, etc. And then start coordinating these into a color scheme. Try to use the more neutral tones for the larger surfaces like walls and roof and highlight them with some bright accents if you like. I've done a video on how to create your color palette so it'll be really useful for you if you refer to it. You can also refer to the colors of the year, like the colors of 2021, they are yellow, gray, and a soft teal. I've discussed these in detail in my video on design trends 2021, and you can refer to that too. The thing with using a color scheme, which is the color trend, is that the place looks very chic, and you can buy a lot of accessories to match because the accessories industry, it adapts to the color trends very fast and usually has a lot to offer from year to year or even season to season. A space which maintains a color scheme automatically looks very classy, organized and stylish and it's very easy on the budget. The second tip that I have for you is for your flooring. Now in India, there is a lot of dust and you need to mop your floor every day. So while laminated wooden floors are an economical option, I suggest that you restrict their use to a limited area and opt for tiles on the floor. Tiles, they are available in all price categories from the very reasonable to the highly luxurious depending on their size and quality. They are also available in a vast range of textures and colors, so you can easily get something to suit both your budget and style. You can get good tiles between 50 to 100 rupees a square feet. A common mistake that people make is to choose a tile which looks like marble. Now a tile can never look like marble, nor can it be laid with the zero degree joints like marble can. It has to be laid with joint spaces. So choose a tile with a look which is rustic, ceramic, textured, boho or whatever suits your style. Lay it with joint spacers and enjoy the final look and feel. Design is mostly about holding the style rather than holding on to the material. The third tip is for your furniture and accessories. Keep your furniture light and minimal. Accentuate your space with dharis, rugs, chattais, cushions, cane or paper lamps and you can create a very earthy and sustainable look without spending too much. You can even buy these off Amazon. I love shopping at various handicraft fairs. This rug which I have in my studio is something I picked up for 120 rupees. This other one, it was for 600 rupees. And then look at this chatai runner in the Montreal pattern or the jute flooring at the AD show in 2019. It's fun, unique 
and most important, it's inexpensive. Another way of adding softness, life and magic to your space is by way of adding plants and flowers. The most economical and the most eco-friendly. All they require is your love and care. Now don't go and buy some plastic plants and flowers and arrange them. They will cost more and look cheap. Go for the real thing. Even if it's a tiny succulent or money plant, a lot of aesthetic planters are available in the market and you can choose them to blend with your color scheme. Now, once you've done up your space using all these little tips, don't go and destroy it by adding a tube light to light up the space. Especially not the one which emits the white light. I know it's very economical and just one fixture can light up a huge area. But then it makes the space look flat, very clinical and it's very low on my list as far as style is concerned. Use the three types of lighting, the general lighting, accent lighting and task lighting. I've done a video on home lighting 101 so you can refer to that too. For general lights, use LED fixtures commonly available in the market. For accent lights, drop a few suspended lights or a table lamp. Very stylish ones, they're available in cane or even paper. And these, they aren't expensive at all. And for the task lighting, like the, say the study table or a kitchen counter, you can use the LED tube light, but conceal it under the overhead cabinets so that it can serve its purpose and yet create a very well-designed and stylish space. So remember these very easily doable five tips on color, flooring, accessories, plants, and lights, and do up your place like a pro, and see you next Saturday.